do another trailer reaction for you. We are the Coat Lords in the Coat Lords lair. Just sitting away with reels of trailers that we're reacting to just for you. We roll them off. Just rolling them off. Rolling them off. And this one is for the Marvels. It's trailer three. Which I might have seen trailer one, but I skipped trailer two, I guess. I have no idea. But uh, these I not... plus I mean, what else can they give us in these trailers? They might they can string them together eventually and make a movie. I know. I know, right? So we're here to talk about the Marvels. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and like. Then go down in the comments and tell us if you'll be watching the Marvels. Do they now? Marvels. Did Disney push this one back or no? It's 2023 still. Okay, guess not. Because they have pushed back something. So. Like what? And what? Like Blade for one thing. Ah! They keep doing that. That's pissing me off because I want to see Blade so bad. But uh, the Marvels, and then I heard that once Loki comes out, there will be no more Marvel series on Disney+. Plus. Hmm. They're Did canceling you? everything that they had upcoming. Oh, is this because of the whole streaming paying actor thing? Maybe. Whoa. Maybe because they're not doing so hot with it. Mm, I yeah. don't know. Maybe you need some better writers? Maybe. Maybe they feel they're Pay some good watering writers. down the universe. Well, I would agree with that. I mean, yeah. they're definitely... Well, and the other side of it is they're writing for things for 10-year-olds. Come on. That's a problem, too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the thing is this. If there are certain shows you want to aim to, like, 10-year-olds, do it. Right. Maybe, it, maybe it's the Marvels. But when you do something with, like, Thor, Thor's not for 10-year-olds. I mean, well, it is, but you make it so stupid. Yeah. And I don't know if that's Tika Waititi or just Marvel in general, but they made that too jokey, and there was, they wasted a great villain in the God Killer yeah. with Christian Bale. God. So I don't know. So yep. Let's see what the Marvels is going this, to bring us. So far, I have not been impressed with the first trailer, but let's see what this does. All right. It gets pretty lonely out here. I need to regain the memories that the Kree took for me. Auntie Carol! You are Carol Danvers, the most powerful person I knew. Way before you could shoot fire from your fists. I get in trouble for that. I can see that about you. <laughs> but what happens when I'm finally set free? I'll be back before you know it. Lieutenant Triple. And you left. Mom passed away. And I got blipped back. They rounded us to investigate earthbound anomalies. Oh. Monica, no! How you feeling? Like myself. Now I can manipulate wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Where's our doctor? Yes, where is Kamala? Who's Kamala? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Hi. How do you have this? My grandma sent it to me in the mail. Have you ever wanted something so bad? And it actually happened. But it's not as great as you imagined it. You want to save the world? Then you're gonna save the world. Well, well now, now, don't, don't you tell me to stop! You stick around and make it with your wife! Now I'm being on What is happening? We switch places whenever we use our powers. Higher. Further. Faster. Together. Well, Dane, you know what? You're going to have lots of fun with that copyright of that song. I have to congratulate uh, the Disney team because that was a good trailer. The reason why I actually thought that was a good trailer is because I liked how they featured all three of them kind of separately, like building them up, showing 
Captain Marvel and what her origin was in uh, Captain Marvel. And then Monica Rambeau and WandaVision and, it sh you know, showed how she built up. And then, you know, the young one and Miss Marvel. And then it shows all three of them together. Mm -hmm. So I, I liked how they structured that because I thought that was a very good way of showing who these people were, what their history was. With all that said, I'm still not going to watch this. But um, <laughs> but I actually have to commend this trailer. That was a good trailer. I, I mean, I agree. That was better than the previous one. Oh, yeah. It was just like a lot of yelling and stuff like yeah. that from the... Young yeah. Miss Marvel. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, and then, oh my God. And then the oh family. God, what are they doing with their daughter? What are they doing with Yes. Them? Yeah, like, that's oh. where, once again, for me, this goes off the rails. Like, right. if you cut that kind of stuff out, like that third Miss Marvel, and it was just Monica Rambeau and mm -hmm. Captain Marvel, I might be interested in this. Yeah. So. I know, I agree. I mean, it looks cool, but again, there's so much backstory. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's so much. Uh, other Marvel characters and movies that have been made that have obviously been so uh, great from a storyline and compelling and everything that when you see this, you're like, I'm, I have no reason to see this. I mean, yeah. you know, we saw Marvel, Miss mm. Marvel, or whatever it was. I didn't and see Miss Marvel. The Brie Larson one? You That's see Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. That Ms. was a Marvel's great movie. The young girl. No, yeah, Captain Marvel. That was a great movie. I thought it was I wouldn't really say good. great, but it was good. It was entertaining. Yeah, I mean, it was entertaining. definitely entertained. This one, I'm just as like, well, it's kind of the same thing. They're going to be like, oh, we got to go. Yeah, who, like, and who are they fighting? The Krill again? Monica, I mean, like, Rambo, and WandaVision. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. I liked WandaVision. Couldn't stomach. I couldn't finish one episode of the Miss Marvel, the, the young girl. Tried, didn't finish it, and I yeah. didn't want to watch it. So I will probably not watch this. Oh, yeah. I agree. I mean, yeah, I've kind of given up on the whole Marvel universe because we saw the Flash. I thought right. that was pretty good, but they did take a different angle with that. But see, once again, there's a difference between DC and and Marvel, and Marvel really aims it for the little kids. And so, what happens when like you're an adult and your kids are growing up, right. and you want to see something more adult? That's why I was hoping that when they bring out Blade. You know, like, they're going to let Deadpool be rated R in the the, the uh, Marvel Universe. Let Blade be rated R. Okay. I mean, I don't then, know. that might be why they're having so much problems with it. Because uh, they, they're not doing that. Right, they're trying not to. But right. it's like, well, how can you write a movie about a vampire killer? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, watch the original Blades, you know, and when Wesley Sniper drops... The mf -er a couple times, right. you know what I mean? I mean, that's how it's got to be. And then they, they, you want to you wanna bring back Ghost Rider? You know what I mean? Did, did you hear they're, they're going to bring back Nicolas Cage to be Ghost Rider? I heard they were going to do a Ghost Rider. I didn't hear the Nicolas yeah, Cage. Yeah, that was like just like within the last week or something okay. like that. So, but, you know. Make it serious. Make it serious. Not funny, not yeah. jokey, not yeah. like, oh, everything's okay, even though we're dealing with blood and guts and death. Right, yeah. You gotta, you know. All right, well, that's us. That's our feeling. Other people might disagree. If you disagree, yeah. go tell, down in the comments and tell us how you disagree. Yeah. Maybe you like the, you know, PG-13 Marvel world, so. It's almost not even that. Yeah, they would never do a Joker, like, you know, with, like they did with, uh, with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Over in the, you know. In like, the Marvel side. Like, you know. You think about the gritty stuff that they have done with Marvel, like the Punisher and all that, that was outside the MCU. You know, that was all done yeah, differently. Yeah, Daredevil. You know? Yeah, Venom, it's out of the Sony world, you know what I mean? The early right. Blades, that was before Disney owned them. So, and that's know. kind of what they're writing on. Yeah. Those coattails. The X-Men, those weren't jokey for kids. Yeah. Once again, not part of the MCU. So, it's just going to be interesting how the MCU brings in the X-Men and brings in Blade and brings in the Punisher now that they've gotten the rights mm -hmm. back to it and stuff. Yeah, they might have to go back to that whole thing they were thinking about, right? Where Hulu was going to have all the R-rated stuff and they're going to have to say, okay, these yeah. are going to be R-rated over there. Right. Because right now, it's all on Disney. Yeah. All right, well, tell us if you're going to, if you disagree with us, tell us if you're going to watch this down in the comments after you hit subscribe and like and Dane. Get us out of here. All right.
Check out the Cult Lords where Marvelous!